Whoa, what is going on here? Masks are missing. There's no masks on the shelves. The lights are all crazy in here. What gives? Well, what the hell's going on, right? Well, I'm going to tell you. So, the other day, I was thinking to myself, you know what, since this place is loaded, and I mean loaded with rare masks, yes, I said, <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, you know what, we should do a photo shoot down here. And there has always been a photograph that was inspiring me to do my own version of it. There's a cool picture of Tom Savini um, on his floor, surrounded by his famous monster magazines, I think some other monster magazines. He's like in the middle of all the magazines on the floor. That's a photo I always loved. Um, not to mention other pictures. You know, years ago I saw a photo of Kirk um, sitting on the floor with all of his monster toys and robots and stuff. I remember back in the, when that photo first came out, you know, I was like, wow, look at Kirk likes the same kind of stuff I do. That's cool. Not knowing I'd later in life, you know, hang out with the dude. Um, what? What do you want? Do you have something to say? I don't understand. I'm talking. This is not your show. All right? <laughs> this is not the mustache show. Is this the mustache hour? Huh? Now that photo of Kirk has always been a memorable one. There's, I think there's a couple over the years he took like that. So I said, you know what? I want to do my own version of this. I want to go in the mask room, in the middle of all the masks I could put on the floor and on the shelves. Will you stop? You want this? Huh? You want to get petted? Huh? I want to put you in a glass case and you're going to freak out. So I said, I'm going to do my own version of this photo. And uh, wait until you guys see what I'm looking at right now. This is nuts. Even I, who own all this shit, stand here in awe. Like, this is crazy. Uh, I better, I'm gonna stop babbling and show you what I'm looking at because I took all the masks out of the shelves behind me and the glass cases, along with all the other stuff that was kind of on the floor, made a sea of masks down here, and we did a professional shoot down here tonight. Anyway, check this out. Holy shit. This is crazy. Um, like I said, these are my masks, but even I am like blown away by the sight of what I'm looking at here. It is freaking nuts. Um, I said, man, since I got all these things laid out here, I need to shoot this on camera and take a good video and show you guys how it looks with all of these faces on the ground. Um, so it's like these cases are empty and all the masks on the back wall there and all of these in these cases and it's like filling up the whole damn room it's crazy <laughs> look at him looking at her that's so funny oh my god so i what i did i carefully moved stuff and i'm way back in there um for the photos which I should I should be getting the the pictures uh, I should be getting all of those pictures by tomorrow. But yeah, I was back in there, and then we buried me, literally buried me back there with masks, and uh, it's pretty wild. So the pictures should be cool. And uh, like I said, I just had to show you guys how crazy this is. This is no doubt one of the greatest concentrations of rare masks you will ever see and I'm not kidding um, this is bananas <laughs> keep in mind behind that is solid masks behind that row there you know there's a whole bottom row there's masks behind those things it's just can I couldn't fit them all over here I mean I could have I guess and there's still masks in the other room but this is all the good stuff you know 
dying post distortions all the independent stuff you know death studios it's just there's tharp pieces mixed in there's some devil's workshop stuff um this is fascinating to look at while wow, it's all on the floor like this just crazy man i thought you guys would like to see this you know because this is this is uh this is something you don't see every day and i think you will all agree it's so neat and uh, I kind of wanted to do this, like I said, while the room was so full of rare stuff because, because I may be selling some stuff off in the weeks to come just to make some room because I'm going back to Frank's, going back to the Frankenshrine to load up on more masks. Um, I'm not going to sell my great stuff, but I'm going to get rid of some things to make some damn room here. But this is like, this is out of control. I mean, this is kind of like, it's almost scary in a way, <laughs> you know, and you're like, I got this many masks. This is, this is just not right. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy in a way, but, uh, it is, it is a beautiful sight. I must say, I'm very pleased with where the collection ended up in recent years. I mean, it's, uh, those of you that know your shit, you can just start looking in here and notice how many crazy rare masks are poking out of this crowd. All the way to the back. Um, pretty, pretty awesome. And it's just, uh, it had to be done. I had to do a cool photo shoot because I don't think the collection will ever be any better than this. <clears throat> I think it's at the height of, you know, this is the height of my collecting right now. I just feel that it can't get any better. Um, sure, I'll keep buying and selling stuff, but I mean, this, this to me is the wildest group of rare masks I will ever have, I'm sure. You know, I can't, I can't keep expanding into the basement and turning my whole house into a freaking, you know, giant mask museum. But yeah, it sounds cool, but I tell you what, you know, going to Frank's and seeing what I've seen there, it's like, I, as, as amazing my friendship was with Frank and as amazing as it was seeing all of that. It was almost like a big slap in the face too at the same time like hey you are slowly turning into this you are turning into that where you're just buying and buying and buying and you're buying and every closet every extra room in this house is loaded with stuff and it's like i got to a point where it freaked me out i'm like i i don't want to i don't want to turn into that you know and i'm slowly turning into that by the looks of this it's crazy um and there are other guys out there that probably have more than me you know more quantity but uh this is no doubt an amazing grouping of the rare stuff and uh i am proud of it totally proud of it but at the same time it's it's kind of scary <laughs> like how many am i going to get rid of that's the question and every time i say that I start looking around the room and then I go upstairs. I go up there, I'll be like, well, couldn't pick anything out I wanted to sell because <laughs> I love them all, you know? I've been kicking around the idea of selling all of my top stones, like the entire lot of top stones. <sighs> because that would make a shit ton of room. And yeah, I love them to death, but my God, it's like, it's, it's something's got to go. Something has to go out of this collection. And I'm more in love with the nice 70s and 80s stuff and the independent stuff where the mass-produced top stones, I will always have a special place in my heart for those masks, but they're all back there, see? But I mean, that's, you know, there's classic top stones back there. 
and it's that would hurt. That would hurt selling those off. But but fuck, I gotta get rid of something, man. This is craziness, and it is a very very tough decision. I don't I don't want requests like oh uh, I want I want to buy this from you or that. No. <laughs> If I do sell stuff, it's going to be a hard decision on what it's going to be. But for now, let's take a good look at it. Because uh, you ain't going to see this every day out there. That's for damn sure. It makes me want to rearrange the, the big walls and really change the room up. Um, you know, I may put the Don post on this side and really switch the whole room up and, and change it up and that that makes it look so damn different down here I see it all the time and I get sick of it like I, not, not just sick of it where I'm disgusted in it but you know it's the same masks in the same area so changing it up once a year or twice a year really is a fun thing and it just makes the collection look so different to me so that might be coming when I start putting all this stuff back in these spots. I may totally rip the main Don Post wall down and start, you know, mixing it up like crazy. So that remains to be seen. Um, if you guys see anything out here that you would like me to do videos on that I've really not talked about yet, um, tell me in the comments. This was just a short video showing the chaos going on in here right now. The beautiful chaos of this amazing sea of crazy Halloween masks, right? And busts and cool, cool, cool shit from long ago, right? Unbelievable. Hopefully you guys will get to see some of the pictures um, somehow, probably on Instagram. Or I may throw some in the next video, but uh, had to run down here and shoot shoot this and show you. Oh, I will show you a new score. I will show you um, a new score I got. I've got to I've got to brag about this. Hang on. Let me set my camera up real quick. So, do you guys remember this cool, cool, cool resin piece by Riff Ghoul? Riff Ghoul RZFX. A very very talented uh, mask maker who was on the scene for a bit and for personal reasons had to hang it up you know but I hope 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 a lot of guys are hoping that he comes back eventually and uh, brings us more of his amazing talent so anyway I've been on the hunt for more of Riff Ghoul's pieces specifically his melty dudes these melting guys this resin piece is so badass, I, I was telling people, I want to find another one. I want to find another color variant. And guess what? Boom, I did. This one is crazy. It's so different than the other guy. But uh, someone approached me in my uh, Instagram messages. Said, hey, I got one. I go, oh my God. I jumped on it instantly. I go, yep, I want it. I'll take it. I, I think I even said, name your price. <laughs> I'll buy it because they're so hard to get like I don't I don't ever see these come up for sale and these are the these are humongous um, resin pieces just bad to the bone right total totally cool the colors he used I mean it's they're beautiful I have a feeling that probably goes crazy under blacklight but man the fucking thing is awesome I'm so I'm so happy I bought it and uh if any of you have another one, if you got a different color variant, I will buy it. I would love another another version of it. I'm that crazy. I want to collect them all, you know. So I uh, had to show you, since I was showing you the crazy room tonight, I said, let's show them. I might as well show you guys a new score and uh, close this video out with a badass Riff Ghoul piece that showed up in the mail yesterday. Again. Thank you for following this crazy channel. Um, more to come on Halloween masks. As you can see, we got plenty in stock here in the old uh, collection. And uh, what are we gonna talk about next? Maybe you can help me decide. If I didn't do a video on something out there, tell me what you wanna hear. 
I know uh, my buddy John from across the pond over in the UK wants some more monster model videos. I will try to do that, John. And uh, we got to talk about more masks. So for now, good night. Cool photos coming of the photo shoot we did. The, the pics are going to look awesome. We even shot some stuff out in the trick shop by the pinball machines. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys soon.